The issue of same-sex marriage is before the U.S. Supreme Court. They're expected to decide by June. A local financial expert says legalizing same-sex marriage could finally level the financial playing field for gay couples. KMIR 6 News anchor Thalia Hayden joins us live with what every gay couple needs to know about their finances. Thalia. Elizabeth Gino, financial expert Jim Casey, says he's been studying the high cost of being gay for years. He says love isn't enough, and many same-sex couples don't realize just how much money they can lose by being unmarried partners. Dustin and Mac McCurdy are celebrating their four-year anniversary this Saturday. I actually um, proposed to him, and even though it wasn't uh, it wasn't legal at the time, I still did. He comes in with his uh, with the box and the ring, and he's you know really nervous and shaking, and he's getting down on one knee. And before he could even finish saying anything, I just said yes. The two became domestic partners, but quickly realized they weren't receiving the same health benefits as a traditional married couple. Part of the reason we wanted to do this was uh, so moving forward, I can give him health insurance because he's a type 1 diabetic. Unfortunately, through the federal government, we can't give him, I couldn't give him those benefits. There's over 1,100 federal benefits that traditionally married couples receive that same-sex couples do not receive. Integrated Wealth Management President and CEO Jim Casey is a financial expert who has been studying the high cost of being gay and says most same-sex couples don't realize the hard costs and efforts needed to protect themselves. My partner and I have been together a long time. If I pass away today, the federal government's going to get a nice check on my estate taxes. If you are a gay couple planning a future together, Casey says to get a financial planner who understands the nuances in same-sex financial planning. Keep track of gifting, which a lot of people don't understand that if a gay couple who is together could deposit their paychecks into a joint checking account, that could be deemed a gift to each other and gift taxes could be due. Casey says you have to keep separate records and you must track them separately for estate tax purposes. The McCurdy say they've learned these lessons firsthand. Unfortunately, there are those out there that, you know, look at it differently and that may never change, but it's just, it comes down to being a human being. It, we all should be treated the same. So despite the federal government, if you're part of a same-sex couple, Casey says you can protect yourself from losing thousands of dollars by educating yourself on your rights and getting your financial house in order. Back to you.